What's up guys? Another crazy video to react to today. We had Benzino breaking down in tears when talking about Eminem. <laughs> so he was just recently on a podcast, I think it was yesterday, and the podcast is called The Drink Champs. You know, they like to drink on that podcast and get, you know, get super drunk. So I'm sure some of these tears were probably alcohol induced. You know, people get emotional when they start drinking. So this one's gonna be crazy. He actually says I'd hug him. Now I haven't watched this one yet, but this one should be absolutely hilarious, guys. You already know what time it is, man. Drop a comment down below. Check out my Patreon, man. Stay free. We're gonna get after this one, man. This one should be crazy. Obviously, I'm the biggest Eminem fan. I am a stan, guys. I am absolutely 100% a stan. So is Knox Hill, Stevie Knight, No Life Shack. You know, I want to be up there with the greats, guys. I want to be on that Mount Rushmore of reactors, guys. Knox Hill, Stevie Knight, you know, No Life Shack. Then, then I want to be the fourth face on that Mount Rushmore. And because, you know, I love watching their reactions, I have to wait till after my reaction to watch theirs. Theirs should be crazy. So go check them out as well, man. This this one's nuts, guys. They've been beefing for like 20 years, man. And obviously, Eminem just put out a song on All Is Yellow, you know, that album, Lyrical Lemonade. And, you know, he dissed Benzino saying he has no neck type of thing. And then Benzino came back with Rap Elvis, which I'm not going to lie, was a good song. That was a good song. So nobody come at me saying it wasn't a good song. That was a good track, bro. But obviously Eminem's the GOAT, man. You know what I mean? But it feels like Benzino's career has been built by Eminem. <laughs> so let's get it, man. Let's go. Right. Let's we talk about Eminem, got yo. You. That's why we here tonight. Oh, uh, fuck Eminem. <laughs> and fuck everybody down with Eminem. And my thing is this, bro. It's over hip hop. Like, hip hop is who we are. He can't come in and invade hip hop in Rosenberg and make trillions of dollars. This nigga didn't even go to Nipsey's funeral, bro. If he's so fucking hip hop, why? How come he ain't blood? Nipsey Hustle, he was big, but he wasn't the center of hip hop, guys. You know, the center of hip hop is probably like Biggie Smalls, Tupac, who else? Probably Drake. Drake is probably the center of hip hop, and like Drake loves him. Jay Z is the center of hip hop. Jay Z loves him. Kanye West loves him as well. They've all made tracks together. So Nipsey Hustle isn't the center of hip hop, guys. Whoever says that to you is a clown, bro. So no, dude, no. Nipsey Hustle, just because he didn't go to his funeral, doesn't mean he's not involved in hip hop in some way. So I don't know. This guy's tripping, bro. And make trillions of dollars. This nigga didn't even go to Nipsey's funeral, bro. If he's so fucking hip hop, why? How come he ain't block ten blocks in motherfucking Detroit and give it to the homeless black people? Quick ten second interruption, guys. I just want to tell you about my limited edition merch I have out right now, guys. Go check it out on my YouTube store, Integrated Fitness Club, St. Patrick's Day Club, and much more. Let's get back to the video. He he has done that, guys. So Eminem has his own foundation, the Marshall Mathers Foundation, where he gives money to kids in Detroit. You know, really rough area, guys. Like. We're talking about Detroit is like the worst, probably poverty stricken area in the whole of the USA. And I watched another part of this podcast where he said basically, oh, you're made fun of Boston. Boston, I, I don't, I've never been to Boston or Detroit, but I've, <laughs> I've been to New York for a day. America, Boston's not dangerous compared to Detroit, guys. Compared, comparative to Detroit, it's like one of the worst places in the whole of the flipping world, not just the USA. So that's what Eminem always talks about, how he's not a gangster. But in terms of the foundation and the money is that the foundations and the money that he gives away Eminem the kind of charity that he does is untouched guys he has massive amounts of charities in Detroit and in America as well he gives a lot of money away to charity man fuck Eminem bro <laughs> they trying to kill me right now bro because this shit I'm saying because it's deep bro let me tell you his fans bro his fans like him because he's white they don't fuck with us let me try to make fuck Eminem <laughs> Are you I get dusted out? Eminem. Rap Elvis, bitch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, most people think that Cassidy, a basically a ghostwriter from New York City, wrote that song for him. And I am one of those people. I think 100% that that song, Rap, Rap Elvis, which was a great song, was ghostwritten. He had about three or four ghostwriters on that song for sure, guys. He also had a beat producer, and he also had a person telling him how to rap exactly because he couldn't even rap before that song so he didn't just magically learn how to rap all of a sudden by himself he didn't just automatically get really good lyrics all by himself this was all done for him guys this was you know this was given to him so <clears throat> it's tough man yeah how about that <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. how about that right. how, about, how, how come he ain't answer how come he ain't answer me it's a good song 100 percent. it's 10 out of 10 but he didn't write it guys so it doesn't count you know what i mean he probably didn't even sing it. He probably did some AI stuff for his voice or something. Like, it's just, 
he's one of the worst rappers in the whole industry, guys, and had no hit songs ever. And all of a sudden, he comes out with a banger like that. Like, no, dude, that just didn't happen from just you. Like, come on. I'll beat the shit out of him with these. Eminem or Machine Gun Kelly? The thing is, guys, that's what losers say when they can't beat you in their own field. They say, oh, I can beat you up with these. Yeah, but maybe. But the thing is, we're talking about a different field. We're talking about rap music now, dude. We're not talking about fighting. We're ta I'm sure John Jones could beat you. It's, it's not really the same, guys. It's, we're talking about rap music. Who could beat you in rap music? Fuck Eminem, bro. <laughs> so, so which one? Fuck Eminem, so bro. Which one? Neil, fuck, f fuck both of them, bro. <laughs> That's like a fucking. That's really funny. MGK sucks, though. Cassidy will kill Eminem in a battle rap, bro. Right. Why do y'all give Eminem so much? Cassidy would kill him in a battle rap. He'd also help you write your song for you, bro. This this guy makes his own jokes, bro. Come on. Props. Why? Why do y'all like Eminem? Because he's white? Is that yeah, it? Be, be, what do you mean? Nah, like what? Fuck that. We don't listen to that in the hood, bro. A few moments later. I don't got nothing against Eminem. <laughs> bro, this, I'm the first time watching this. This is hilarious, bro. I love this. This is hilarious, bro. He said at the beginning, he said, I hate Eminem, F Eminem. And then he said, I ain't got nothing against Eminem. This is... Looks like he's super drunk here. He's also crying. Got nothing against somebody that ever can rap, but I care about us more. I don't want to go through, I don't want to talk about it no more. I don't want to, for 22 years, every time I do an interview, they ask me about Eminem. <laughs> the fuck you want me to do? He said 22 years, every single time they talk to me, they ask me about Eminem because his whole career was built off that Eminem beef. Nobody would even know about this guy if it wasn't for the Eminem beef. Like, let's just be real, guys. Let's be real. You know what I mean? Come on, man. My daughter came into the industry figuring that, hey, I got to be cool with Eminem because everybody's against my dad. <laughs> you think this shit is fucking cool? Damn, bro. No, oh, man. Ooh. We're failing as a people. I don't hate Eminem. I don't know him to hate him. I don't hate white people. Oh, Tired. Why would he say he doesn't hate white people? He's not, I don't think he's ever said anything. Well, he probably has, but why is he saying that? It's so weird. Shit, man. It's just too much. I don't want to be the bad guy. I got an eight-year-old son that I dropped off at school this morning. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm all right. I don't want my DMs filled with... I've had nine pages knocked down a million... White people think I love I love all people. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, he's saying white people are saying that he's racist. White people are saying all this stuff. I'm not sure about that, but I don't really care about even that. But I, I'm just saying like he said that he hates him and then he's saying he's good. I don't. Well, he's just really drunk now. Come on, man! All me and Eminem gotta do is sit down, and talk with each other. Let's sit down, and talk. Let's battle. Let's do whatever. But let's at least face to face meet each other. Huh. If, you, if that was to happen, would you give him a five? Fuck it, man. I'd hug him. That's hilarious, guys. We got Noah F. Shaq doing a reaction too. Yeah, like, he said I'd hug him at the end. Like, what? Bro, That this dude is like bipolar or something. So first he absolutely hates him. And then second of all, he says that he'd hug him very very strange guys go check out on revolute that's the name of the revolt sorry revolt is the name of the channel that's the whole podcast is on i have to go check that out actually i haven't seen that yet but i've saw i saw a little bit of the other part where you talk about boston and detroit and stuff like that but yeah absolutely hilarious guys let me know what you guys all think man benzino is just whack guys absolutely crazy ghost rider you know his whole career has just been washed because of a few dip because of a few wild things guys but let me know what you all think. I love you guys, man. Don't listen to Benzino. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.